digital assets, the difference between cryptocurrencies and tokens. If you're just starting out in blockchain and cryptocurrency, it's essential to understand the difference between cryptocurrencies and tokens. In this video, we will break down both concepts in a simple way that anyone can understand. We will go through real-world examples of cryptocurrencies and tokenized platforms slash products so that the difference between the two becomes much easier to understand. Let's start with a definition. A cryptocurrency is a digital currency that uses cryptography to secure and verify transactions. Cryptocurrencies are decentralized, meaning they do not rely on a central bank or single administrator. The first cryptocurrency was Bitcoin, which was created in 2009 by the anonymous Satoshi Nakamoto. Today, there are hundreds of cryptocurrencies with new ones being created every day. Every cryptocurrency has its blockchain. The term blockchain will be explained in more detail below. These blockchains are distributed online where they are stored on the digital wallets of every investor that holds coins or tokens in that specific cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency typically has its blockchain and wallet. These wallets can be software, desktop or mobile, hardware or web-based, where transactions are recorded on the blockchain of the specific currency. A wallet is like a digital bank account where you store your coins slash tokens to make transactions with other people online who hold wallets for that specific cryptocurrency. The transactions that happen between wallets are recorded on the blockchain of that specific cryptocurrency. This is an open distributed ledger online where anyone can see and verify the transaction. To show that a transaction has occurred, blocks need to be added to the chain. Each block contains data from a set of transactions in the hash of the previous block. The blockchain is managed and distributed by a peer-to-peer, -peer, P2P, network that forms the backbone of any cryptocurrency. This means that no single entity such as a government or bank controls it. The users on this P2P network are called miners, and their work is called mining. Miners use powerful computers and an internet connection to solve complex calculations in real time, which are then added to the blockchain as a block. The more blocks that get added to the chain, the harder it becomes for the miners to add new blocks onto the blockchain because of its immutability. This is why the most secure blockchains are those with the most miners. So if you hear about a new coin slash token, check to see how many people are mining it before making any investment decision. A token can be bought, traded, and used as a medium of exchange on a blockchain platform. Tokens are created using smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain, the most common platform used to create tokens. Every token has its smart contract that dictates what it can be used for and how it behaves on the network. Tokens are often confused with coins, however, they are quite different because of their purpose. Coins like Bitcoin or Litecoin are cryptocurrencies, and their purpose is to function as a payment system like PayPal. However, they also serve as digital money, digital gold. Tokens do not serve as a cryptocurrency and are more like products you would use on the platform it was created for. For example, if someone were to create a decentralized video sharing blockchain platform, they could create tokens, something like digital points, and distribute them to users who upload videos or stream videos on their platform. Then when a user wants to buy premium features on the network, they would use the token created by the video sharing blockchain platform instead of using fiat money, UST, Euro of Yen. It's important to remember is that tokens are created on a blockchain and have their unique wallet. When platforms offer trading options, they usually have to conduct their own ICO, initial coin offerings, to create their tokens. Tokens are digital assets created by companies to serve as an integral part of a product or service traded online. Tokens are different from cryptocurrencies in that they serve a specific purpose, and the majority of tokens out there cannot be bought or sold like a cryptocurrency. Tokens usually do not have their blockchain. Instead, they run on top of another platform's blockchain, such as Ethereum. By not having their blockchain, tokens do not become popular currencies like Bitcoin and Litecoin. Instead, they provide users with access to a product or service that can be traded online. Imagine cryptocurrencies as traditional money such as USD and Euro, which you can use to buy and sell things without a central administrator, while tokens are tickets you get from a supermarket for discounted prices on specific products. Here is a quick example. Let's say you do an ICO and decide to create a token called Lick. A real-life example for this would be the basic attention token. You will then create an app where your users can spend their tokens to purchase products or services. For users to spend their tokens on your platform, however, they first need to own some. This creates demand for your token and pushes its value up. When the demand increases, so do the price of your token. If someone wants to buy Lick tokens but doesn't have any, they can either buy ETH, Ethereum, from which you will issue them with Lick tokens, Ethereum requests for comma 20, or they can buy Lick tokens on an exchange such as Binance. Since your token does not have its blockchain, you cannot mine it like Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. 
Every time someone wants to create a new Lick token, you will conduct another ICO and issue that many tokens. If people start holding onto their Lick tokens instead of spending them, there won't be enough demand to push the price up because your supply will always increase with every new ICO you do. This is what the pump and dump phenomenon is all about. Many people see an increase in valuation, so they start investing heavily into it until its value becomes too high, leading to another ICO. At the end of this ICO, the people who invested make a substantial amount of money, while those who bought in during the pump phase usually lose most of their investment because once demand drops after the new coins are issued, so does the price. This is known as the dump part of a pump and dump scheme. As mentioned earlier, tokens give users access to certain products or services that can be traded online. Most token purchases are made on cryptocurrency exchanges such as Binance held in digital wallets just like cryptocurrencies are. Tokens have value only on these crypto exchanges, so if you want to use them for their intended purpose, buying discounted products or services, you will have to transfer them from your digital wallet to the platform's digital wallet. Token creation services such as Token Factory and MyWish help anyone create their tokens without having any experience coding. Some companies like CryptoSoft provide ICO consultancy by helping clients market their ICO and choose the right type of token depending on how they plan on. Token transactions can be done by transferring funds from one person's digital wallet to another person's digital wallet through cryptocurrency exchanges or by buying products or services with them directly from companies that accept these tokens as payment. In terms of taxation, this is treated the same way as receiving services or transferring cryptocurrencies between wallets. Receiving tokens is treated like receiving other currencies. Therefore, you are expected to pay taxes on the amount of money it was worth when you received it. Tokens that act as securities, tokens that give holders ownership of real-life assets, should be treated like any other stock sale. For example, if an investor buys your token and later sells it for a higher price than what they paid for, this difference would be considered income and would therefore be taxed. With all these regulations in place, clients must understand how their tokens are being used because once revenue starts coming in through trading these tokens or selling products slash services for them, this will impact their tax returns. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave us a like and subscribe to this channel so that you can keep up with all the latest updates. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment.